This is the Guardian Tarot. This is one I just discovered, like, offhand, and I, I really liked it because the artist used watercolor um, to paint the pictures, and the concept was really interesting. Published by Red Feather. And the, here's the box. It's in a magnetic clasp box. Guardian Tarot. Let's see, it says, the trees are guardians of our lives, but there is a drastic contrast between the living and the dead in nature and spirit. These disquieting yet beautiful 78 tarot cards and guidebook identify a clear correlation of how humans exist within current times. We become less functional, depleted, and unable to connect our personal happiness as we pull our nourishment from a depleted source. It's very dismal. Um, these guardians will teach you that a nourishing environment where your needs are met and supported by others, you grow stronger by bringing two entities together, trees and humans. You will journey along, along a path to unite and foster awareness of the importance between nature and yourself and promote your personal development and joy. What really attracted me to this desk were, were these haunting tree figures with like their eyes are just sunken in. It's just really interesting, kind of eerie, um, as well as the artwork. So, Guardian Terror by Beth Salonen. Salonen? Salonen. Hmm. So, there, there's a picture of her. The box is, um, sort of has a matte finish. On the inside, it's glossy. That paste in. Uh, she's a graduate of the University of Maine. Um, let's see, Dream Raven Tarot, Blue Cat Tarot, Tarot Leaves, all available from Schiffer Publishing, which Red Feather and Schiffer are pretty much the same thing. Here's the little book. See the haunting sort of creature? Pleasing, but kind of haunting. The book is actually in full color. It's a nice little book with little images, thumbnails of each of the cards, the guardians. She says it originated from an experience in 2004 when her four-year-old son, they were walking home, railroad track, he glanced over to see a tree standing in a small field. Skeletal. Nothing. Oh, the tree was dead. Our explanation happened to be on pollution, which led us to discussing where pollution came from. Hmm, it was thunder. Um, the moon reflected little silver points of light, whispering softly as the wind danced around the living trees. Humans exist within current times. We, when we find ourselves in a nourishing environment where our needs are met and supported by those around us, we grow stronger. So that's the concept. Oh, now it's downpouring. I love Virginia weather. Okay, there's the inside of the box. It's like a deep blue, and we have these lovely purple... Um, satiny. Um, I don't know what those are called. They kind of keep it open in the little tab. So here is the back of the cards. It's this bluish, watery blue that is completely reversible. Uh, the cardstock is actually fairly thick. Uh, probably very prone to chipping. It's very, they're very glossy, like most of um, Red Feather's decks. Um, they're rounded, very nicely rounded. They sort of slide okay, they make a noise. But let's look at it. Actually, the funny thing is, I just got this deck in the mail today. It came in. Um, and I thought, I want to look at it, so I thought I'd look at it. I have not seen all the cards together, so we'll see how I react. So here we have the Fool. It's in a font down here, so these are borderless. You can see the watercolor paper. 
The magician has a Ouija board and a, well, a pendulum. The high priestess, sort of the woman figure Kundalini. The empress. You can see that they're, they have no, they're very haunting cards. The emperor. Fairly simplistic. The Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. The cards are rather simplistic. Um, I mean, this could probably be a moon card. Um, there's really no defining um, thing other than the name attributed to it. The hermit. Here we have two people, or two tree people, and an eagle with the hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Here we have different scenarios, church, home, nature. Justice. Here we have the triple moon. There. Suspend. Hmm. Death. Temperance. And these cards aren't numbered, which is kind of... Hmm. Kind of odd. Devil. And we have some like cherry blossom look. The tower. And there's the star with an owl. The moon. And we do have a wolf. Sun. Judgment. Here we have a cemetery with human souls rising up. It's more downpour. The world. Kind of with souls flying around. It's a very soothing deck to be honest. And then, let's see, it's organized by... Wands, swords, cups, pentacles. That's how the suits are arranged. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. So a spear there. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. There's reflection there. This card is interesting. Six of Wands. This deck would have been really nice on like, um, like an uncoated paper, I think. Definitely mimicking the um, watercolor paper that was used to create these. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. There's definitely some feminine energy in these cards. I mean, the artist is a mother, so I think it's really conveyed through these cards. Especially the use of the the symbols, you know, the woman, the moon, sort of the nurturing spirit that's evoked from the cards. It's really a pretty card. And they're somewhat, they're slightly whimsical, but not like 
saccharine, cloyingly whimsical, which, like the um, Star Spinner Tarot, which, yeah, I don't think this this one's meant for. Um, I mean, anybody could use this, but I think a woman would really connect with this deck a lot more than a man would. Even though there are masculine figures, it just it seems it lends itself to that feminine energy. King. So let's see, we have the Queen and the King. And then we have the Knight and the Page. So not deviation of names, they're not there. So now we have swords. So we have no swords. And I guess trees don't carry swords. We do have wings evoking flight. The element. Yeah, so we do have some. Some birds here. Four swords. Let's actually look at the quality of the print. It's pretty decent. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. They're just so glossy. And these glossy cards are so chip prone. Eight. It's like father, mother, child. Here we have some sort of evil looking wolves scream. The movie Fantastic Planet, the it's made in the seventies by um a French animator. Um it sort of reminds me of these these the people that these tree people if you've ever seen it you know it's really it's an interesting movie um it's currently in print you can buy it. i think criterion released it on blu-ray um year before last or last year and i had to get it i remember watching it with my grandmother when i was little and being completely freaked out and just i mean there's like cartoon nudity in it and these aliens are keeping humans as pets. The concept of the movie is really interesting. Um, it makes you think a lot about like insects and how we keep pets and how we treat. Um, well, the humans revolt. These aliens, they like send their soul up to the moon to like dance around and mingle when they're sleeping. And the humans build a spaceship to go up there and they start popping bubbles, which effectively kills the aliens, the blue aliens, on the planet. I mean, the humans compared to the aliens are only like maybe three inches tall compared to the aliens. And it mainly follows just one of the humans as he goes through um, being a pet. There's the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Oh, there's a sailboat. War Thunder. I mean, these people, they're staring at you. I mean, it's its eerily... It's very interesting. They're really the cards staring back at you. Eight 
her cups. Nine of cups, you have a lighthouse, you have church, you have different decisions. So there's a Christian church. Ten of cups. Page of cups, we have a lighthouse. Sunset. Oh, we have a human child. Eagle. There's a feather. A bison, a bear or something. I mean, if you, I mean, if she's from Maine in the U.S., you're going to have lighthouses that's to the coast um, and the sea and also cliffs and forest. I've actually never been to Maine. Oh. Oh. Queen. Here we have a father with the little tree baby. Tree baby. And then we have pentacles, which is the um, last suit. She's got some tattoos and a baby, a human hybrid tree baby. I think I know a woman that looks like that, her profile. Hmm. There's a cocopelli. Sort of the desert. So we have earth, we're, ex we're going through the earth. If you've ever painted with watercolor, um, I've taken several classes in watercolor. So I guess technically I've been formally trained. I still don't think I'm brilliant at it. But um, actually, I have a, one of my watercolors right beside me. I will show you. Um, one I did when I was in college. My um, teacher actually died last year. Um, she was really, I learned a lot from her, but damn if she wouldn't pick up a brush and just keep and paint right on what you've been painting. And it's like, <gasps> don't touch it, show me, but don't, I'll, let me do my own stuff. So that was frustrating because, and then she'd say, well, repeat, you know, what did I do? Remember, you start light and then you go dark because you can't take the dark away unless you scrape or you, you muddy. You don't want to muddy your colors. One of my tendencies is um, I tend to paint in high key. Um, and these are relatively high key. I don't I use watered down paint. I don't use the paint right from the tube. Or I use cake paint. It's all diluted. Eight. We have a cello. Kind of small for a cello. Nine of Pentacles. At least these cards aren't stuck together like some cards. Um, ooh, we have a spirit. I like the sunflowers. And there's a gazebo with like some sort of modified onk on top. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. There's an elderly creature, the younger one. King of Pentacles. I mean, that's very haunting, staring right at you. So that is the Guardian Tarot. I will now put back in its little box. Um, Red Feather and Schiffer always do a really good job with their packaging, I think. They do a, the way that it's put together. Um, I just wish they would improve on their card stock. That's my one wish for Red Feather slash Schiffer. Um, yeah, I bought this on um, Amazon. It's, it's still in print. Um, nice hard box. Really nice gift. For someone. So here is one of my watercolors. I haven't hung it up yet. Um, 
this one, what I'd normally do is find a picture and then kind of take elements from that picture. I did not take this picture, but um, I draw first and then I would um, kind of fill it in. So you can see I'm in high key. Um, the colors aren't too dark. And then... This is one I did um, with uh, painter's tape and uh, like masking tape and just um, started doing like plaid and um, my goal was like alpha. You can see the A in the middle. Um, this one was shown at my senior show. Um, even though I just minored in art, I didn't, I still had a senior show. I asked if I could have one because most, mostly it was majors. Um, but I was really proud of this one and everybody was like, wow, how'd you do that? Well, asking tape. Last year, the last watercolor I did was for my mother. It was for, it was a, um, since my mother grew up in the 60s, it was a makeup ad uh, that was done in watercolor in the 60s and I thought it was really done well, beautiful. And it reminded me of my mother, so I painted it for her for Christmas. Um, and it was kind of cartoony, but that was the point. It wasn't very complicated. Um, these are very good watercolors. I think she's very... I want to look at what else she's done. Um, because it, um, it's, it's interesting. So, trees, feminine energy, um, shiny cards, nice box. It's a good deck. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. What do you think? Do you like it? Had you heard of it? I hadn't until like last week. Um, and it's not, it's, I mean, it's just a regular price deck, nothing crazy. Um, speaking of crazy and, and decks, um, use Renault, the Heritage Tarot Marseille. Um, two new decks came out uh, last Saturday. And I have been able to find Tarot of the Imagination through ABE Books, um, and so I ordered it. And there was only one copy available. It's out of print. It wasn't numbered or anything, but I believe it's used. But um, yeah, I have that knockoff bootleg that I'll show when I get it. Um, I just fell in love with the deck. The deck was it blew me away, and it's been a long time since the deck really blew me away with the imagery. I think the last time was. Tarot of the Third Millennium was the artwork just really just original, interesting, um, thoughtful. That one really blew me away. Um, so Tarot of the Imagination out of print. I should be getting it maybe this coming week, hopefully. It's shipping here in the U.S., but I was so glad I was able to find it because you can't find it anywhere. Um, anyway, that's my Guardian Tarot by Beth Sulonen. See low and see one in. Yeah, thanks for watching.